Oh, hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. As you can see from the title, today we are here with a fragrance review, and this review is on a fragrance company we've never talked about before, at least that I can recall. So here's the deal, early in 2020, I was taking a stroll in the Linux Mall in Atlanta, ducking and dodging the bullets, and <laughs> all jokes aside though, I was just uh, browsing around, killing some time while I was there for business. As I was there, I went into a store and I came across this fragrance house, the house of Hermetica. I'd never heard of them before, I've never smelled any fragrances, but I came across a nice sales associate who was able to give me a lot of information. Fast forward in 2020, I started to get messages from one person asking to see this house. I had never really recalled what those fragrances smelled like because I didn't pay a ton of attention to them. None of them jumped out enough at that point for me to go through and purchase them, but the recommendations came in over and over and over again. So what I decided to do was purchase some samples and I purchased the samples from my good people over at TwistedLily.com. And by the way, uh, they are providing the bottle for today's video. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored. I do not know anyone from the house of Hermetica, so I'm gonna say what I want to say as I always would. But just to put you at ease, this video is not sponsored. When I got the fragrance in, I was impressed. At first, I was like, this is different, but it's nice but I was impressed. Now, you don't know this, but this is take two of this video. First one got messed up. So the box is already destroyed. Maybe I put some B-roll in it so you can see what it looked like, but that is what it is. So as always, we'll go ahead and start off with the presentation. In this instance, it'll be the bottle. Now the bottle here is very simplistic. It's green, gold accents, white little dots there, and boom, it pops off. Very simple. This is your distribution, sprays like a champ. So when this thing came in, as I mentioned, I was intrigued and impressed. This fragrance is a unisex scent, and personally, I think this leans more to the feminine side but I enjoy it. I enjoy it enough to the point where when, as I normally do with Twisted Lily, because what they do is we partner together on almost a monthly basis. We do also subscription boxes together. So if you have not checked them out yet, feel free to do so at the link down below. And if you have not been to Twisted Lily, well, I'm not sure what you're waiting for because they have a huge selection of all your finest niche and luxury fragrances available on one site but I digress. I was interested in this fragrance because as I mentioned, it smelled different. Now, if you're not familiar with the House of Hermetica, let me explain to you what could be adding to it smelling different. Well, this fragrance doesn't use any alcohol. This is an alcohol-free fragrance and oftentimes those fragrances are, well, hmm, lackluster. At least the ones that I've smelled, except for the ones I've talked about because those are the ones I like. All right, um, but this one stood up on its own. Now, Hermetica starts off by telling you that, hey, this fragrance is different because it's alcohol free and it also has this hydrating feel and look to your skin. All right, it's definitely a different look. You spray this thing on and it looks like your skin is hydrated. If I had to put you in a mindset of anything, think of back to canvas and concrete for any of your people out there who have it. You spray that on your skin and it really provides a primer and a base for you to spray your fragrance. If you don't have that, think of putting like a vitamin E oil on your skin, but not oily, right? And that's what it looks like. I'm trying to give this to you in the best way possible. Now for the note breakdown for Hermetica, you get a lot. There's a lot here. There's this... Uh, and they really run with the same thing across all of their fragrances, right? They use a breakdown or a mixture of natural ingredients 
oils as well as synthetics, right? I think a lot of people do that, but when you get into something like this, the quality is just on another level. Now you have a ginger extract within this fragrance. You also have a lily of the valley molecule within this scent. You have black currant within this fragrance. You also have, um, that I mentioned ginger? If not, you have ginger within this scent. You also have um, notes like pear, right? And the pear is alive and well here you also have some lavender within the scent and all together there's like i don't know let's call it 20 notes within the scent i'll make sure they're listed on the screen for you the best i can but let's talk about the main players all right and to me the main players within this fragrance are going to be that ginger extract molecule that lily of the valley molecule some musk i get a lot of that pear within this fragrance that lavender and the lily of the valley that's what you get this scent comes off as a super fresh floral. However, it almost starts off like, like a watery cucumber. That's what I get with this scent. I get something that's it's fresh. It almost smells healthy, right? And I enjoy that about this scent. I spray it on, I'm like, whoop, I lost 30 pounds, done. I don't need to work out anymore. <laughs> this is a good scent. It is a good scent. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how they piece this together. They don't break it down, right? And with so many notes, it's difficult to, to really give you the full spectrum of what you get. But to my nose, those are the things that stand out. All right, another thing that stands out to me in this is this very underlying feel that pear note is there. And I'm smelling it. And it also smells good within a scent. Now, sometimes pear notes within fragrances come off as gimmicky, and I don't get that with this. I get a supernatural feel throughout the entire life of the scent, and did I mention it didn't have alcohol? I did, and what you're thinking is, B, that's not gonna last. And you'll be wrong, my friend. This fragrance lasts about eight to 10 hours is what I get in terms of longevity. This thing jumps off the skin, and it projects like a champ. It's an odd thing to me because not all fragrances that uh, don't have alcohol. Alcohol is one of those things that helps with that staying power. But I think what's really assisting this fragrance is the mixture of those natural oils. And although they say it gives it a hydrating type of feel, I think that's where the look comes from. The high oil concentration within these scents. And then I think some of the things that help with that longevity and with the jumping off the skin comes by way of those molecules and synthetic notes that are used. They use them in such a great way that if you did not know they were there in terms of the note breakdown and they weren't transparent with that, then you wouldn't know that this thing uh, really didn't have a natural feel. All in, this is a fragrance that I'm excited about and I, and I urge a lot of you out there to try this fragrance house out. Do I know all of the fragrances within their lineup? Nope, I do not. Um, do I know all the collections? Nope, I think there's three or four, right? But what I'll tell you is if you're looking to explore any of them, you can holler at my people over at Twisted Lily, all right? They have a bunch of their fragrances available. They have uh, sample sets available, so you can go in, order decants, and get them shipped to yourself, right? But this one here says Emerald Stairways. So I would imagine that's part of a collection. Now, the name of the scent, Hopefully I mentioned it. If not, here we go. This one is Jade 888. And that really is a breakdown, code, so to speak, um, with this scent. So Jade, Jade is a stone, all right? A gem, so to speak. And uh, it's green in nature. This fragrance is green. The bottle was green. 888 is a Chinese code for lucky according to the House of Hermetica. If that's not right, I'm just, don't shoot the messenger. All right? Um, but So you really look at this, you get a green sensation from the scent, a green bottle presentation. You also get that lucky feel, that lily of the valley, that emerald stairway, if you will. All in all, this is a fragrance that I think many people out there will enjoy. And as I mentioned, this is a unisex scent. However, if you're a manly man, if you're like a super tough guy, you know, leather jacket bound, this fragrance is not for you. However, if you are a more modern man, if you are a more free flowing man, gender fluid, this fragrance may be for you. This fragrance is gonna be different and because it has limited availability, at least from the places that I've been throughout this world and had the opportunity to see this fragrance, it wasn't many. 
saw it in one store, one place. I know the world is big, and I'm just one guy, but I only saw it in one spot. Two now with Twisted Lily. So be sure to check this fragrance out. All of them have the offer because I think the fragrance house is unique. And if you have some moral pieces to you, and you're like, hey, I'm not looking for, you know, uh, fragrances that, that are not clean, fragrances that are not great for the environment, fragrances that don't really um, take my full health into consideration, that's a house for you. All right. That's all I have for you when it comes down to the house of Hermeticum. Um, longevity on this fragrance, phenomenal. Eight to ten hours. Projection, two feet plus. Say two to three feet on this one. Uh, best seasons to wear this fragrance. For me personally, I would say spring and summer. But you could possibly get away with this fragrance in fall. Simply because it has such great staying power and it projects in the way it does. Fresh out of the shower scent, casual fragrance, office wear, good to go. Personally, I think a woman is going to do this fragrance more justice than a man. But I gave you the situations as a man that you would rock this fragrance. So listen, that's all I have for you today when it comes down for Hermeticus Jade 888. If you're looking to try out this fragrance, then again, holler at my people at Twisted Lily at the link down below. And if you're not looking for Hermetica and you want to try other things like MFK, Pop from the Molly, Creed, Killian, etc., they have it all. Just click on the link down below. As always, I'm your boy, Big Bid. Beat him with the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn damn.